Sony Spearing XZ's first impressions. Sony's slow mo friendly Spearing XZ's goes on sale this week. Sony's Spearing XZ's with 19 MP motion eye camera launched in India for 49,990. Sony's Peering XZ's with 19 MP motion eye camera launched in India for 49,990. Sony first unveiled its Peering XZ smartphone back in February this year, and it has now been launched in India priced at Rs. 49,990. Notably, the company has introduced a dual SIM version of this smartphone for India. It will be available in black, ice blue, and warm silver from April 11th, with pre-orders starting from April 4th. The phone will be sold exclusively on Flipkart Online as well as through offline stores. We got our hands on the talking first about the design of this smartphone. The Spearing XZs doesn't offer anything new when it comes to aesthetics. It features the same loop surface design that has featured on several Spearia smartphones so far. The front and back are flat while the sides are rounded. The device is easy to hold and feels sturdy, but doesn't bring anything new to the table. The power button volume rocker, and physical camera button are all located on the right. While the power button is conveniently accessible, the volume rocker as well as the camera button can be difficult to reach when using the phone in portrait mode. This phone is noticeably thicker than most modern flagship smartphones. Build quality is good but the design doesn't feel fresh and exciting. As these are our first impressions, we would like to hold our final opinion till the full review. Zperian XZ's at its India launch moving to the highlight feature of the smartphone, the Zperian XZ's has a 19 megapixel motion eye camera with super slow motion video recording. The rear camera is with a platform with a huge memory stack that's in the RS center to get the for all the focus, all of which allow them. 60fps super slow motion videos. Sony claims that the Spearing XZ offers improved camera performance compared to the Spearing XZ, with 19% larger pixels. There is also a 13 megapixel front camera with an f/2.0 aperture and steady shot 5 axis stabilization. In our limited time with the Spearing XZs, we found its camera performance to be above average. Even though it can take a few tries to get 960 FPS super slow motion videos to look good, the feature did come across as impressive. Coming to the screen, the Spearing XZ sports a 5.2 inch full HD preluminary display powered by Sony's X Reality Mobile Picture Engine. In our initial impressions, we found the display quality to be quite good. The Spearing XZ's runs Android 7.1.1 Nougat and is powered by a Snapdragon 820 processor coupled with 4 gigabytes of RAM. We didn't face any network performance issues while using the app's smart keyboard on the device. However, we want our judgment to conduct our full review. In the audio department, the phone is capable of playing higher as file formats. LPCM, FLAC. Lock, and DSD files are supported. The phone has front-facing speakers and a 3.5mm headphone jack at the top. We found the speaker's volume to be a bit low, but the quality of the sound was good. The Spearing XZ's has a 2900mAh battery and 64GB of built-in storage, which is expandable using a micro SD card of up to 256GB. In this price range, the phone will be competing against Android heavyweights including the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and Google Pixel. We will have to wait and see if this new Sony smartphone has what it takes to impact the current and future Android flagships in the Indian market. For our detailed review of the Sony Spearing XZ and other tech related news, stay tuned to Gadgets 360. The smartphones have evolved to basically all look the same. Pre-orders are open, 
and Sony says that come April 5th you can grab an unlocked version from Amazon, Best Buy and elsewhere for $700.